Today I'm going to give you a tour of the farmhouse shipping container at East Zion. This place is surrounded with beautiful mountains and it's only a 25 minute drive from Zion National Park. So there are actually four Airbnbs on this property and they all look really amazing. So hopefully in the future we can give you some tours of the other Airbnbs located here as well. But even though there are four Airbnbs on this property, you have plenty of privacy due to these separating walls. So each Airbnb has its own parking spot. And so as you arrive, there's actually a little sign to welcome you. Also outside there is a hot tub, so each of the four Airbnbs has their own personal private hot tub, which is amazing. This would probably be my wife and I's favorite part of this Airbnb, was just sitting in this hot tub, especially at night and stargazing, because there's so many stars you can see here. And in my opinion, any Airbnb that has a hot tub is automatically 10 times better. So outside there are actually two separate fireplaces. So there is a gas fireplace with this really nice sofa surrounding it. And then there's also a wood burning fireplace if you wanna roast some marshmallows or anything over here. So there is also a grill outside. So while we were here, I made some hot dogs, but it's always really nice to have a grill at an Airbnb, especially a gas grill, just so you can make some food while you're here. So now let's go check out the inside. So as you first enter, you are greeted by this very open and comfortable living space. So as the name implies, um, this living space is decorated with a very farmhouse-like style. So you have shiplap from floor to ceiling throughout the entire Airbnb. And the shiplap gives the place a very cozy feel. And one of the coolest features in this main living space is that this couch actually turns into a bunk bed. I've actually never seen anything like this before. It's a really cool piece to have in this Airbnb because it makes a really good use of the space. And so if you have kids, I'm sure they would love to sleep on this bunk bed as well. And it's actually super easy to pull the bunk bed out and put it away, which is super nice and convenient. So on the end of the shipping container is where the kitchen is located. Overall, I was super impressed with this kitchen because for a shipping container, it actually feels very big and open in here. And all the appliances in this kitchen are top of the line and very sleek. So there's a very nice gas stove. You have your refrigerator and your microwave. So also in the kitchen, there is a Keurig and they provide you with all the essentials that you would need. So if you would like to make some coffee or some hot chocolate while you're here, you can do that as well. We personally really enjoyed making hot chocolate just because it was super cold while we were staying here. And so that was a really nice uh, touch to have. This kitchen also has a very big stainless steel sink. And something I really liked was just the hexagon tiles throughout the entire kitchen and the white countertops. It really looks so amazing. So now let's make our way to the other half of the shipping container. So as we make our way down this hallway on the first door on the left is where the bathroom is located. The bathroom has a very rustic look to it that kind of goes in with the overall farmhouse style of this house. So on the left hand side is where you have your small vanity with the mirror above it and then above the mirror is where there's this really cool rustic style light. And then there's also a small shower here with hot water and everything you need. And then to the right is where you have all your towels that the host provides you with so that you have plenty of towels for taking showers and going in the hot tub and all that. And then at the very end of this side on the shipping container is where the main bedroom is located. So this bedroom was super cozy in my opinion. The bed was super comfortable. We both slept super Super well while we were here and there's also a lot of storage under the bed so you can put your stuff under there while you're staying here just so it doesn't look super messy and then to the left of the bed is where you have your small nightstand and then also in your bedroom there is this really big tv and since we're in a shipping container in a smaller space this tv feels even bigger and we actually really enjoyed having this tv because it was really nice to sit in here at night and just watch movies before we went to bed and then also in this bedroom, there is a heater air conditioning unit. There's also one in the kitchen if you noticed. And so you can kind of control how hot or how cool it is while you're staying here. And last thing I wanted to mention about the inside of the shipping container is just, I loved how many windows there are throughout the entire place. It really lets in so much light. And I think that's why it feels so open inside. And that's one of my favorite parts about staying here in this shipping container is that it really doesn't feel like you're in a shipping container. It feels like you're in a home and it feels very cozy and open. And at night, or if you just want more privacy, all the windows have curtains that you can close. And so that's a super nice feature to have as well. So this Airbnb is actually only a 20 minute drive from the main entrance of Zion National Park. 
And then Bryce Canyon National Park is only an hour drive away from here. So you have two national parks within an hour drive, which is super amazing. And the Airbnb is just surrounded by beautiful mountains on each side of you. So on the front side of the Airbnb, there are actually these big red rock mountains that kind of resemble the mountains in Zion National Park. And then behind the Airbnb, there's more forest-like mountains with tons of evergreens and pine trees. So besides the two national parks that are within an hour drive, there's actually a ton of other things to do while you're here. The host actually provides you with this guest book that is full of different hikes and slot canyons and things you can do around here. And the host even provides you with guided tours. So if you wanna take a guided tour going canyoneering or repelling or even a Jeep tour, you can contact the host and they will actually schedule all that for you. And so this is the type of place where you should stay for multiple days because there's so much to do and you're definitely gonna to wanna to take advantage of all of it. Something that we personally did while we were here is there's this really cool hike just down the road called the belly of the dragon and we really enjoyed just how close it was to the airbnb so this airbnb is in a great location so i hope you guys all enjoyed this video of this amazing airbnb if you did make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button it really takes five seconds and it will help out this channel more than you know and if you want to book this airbnb i will leave a link in the uh, description below so you can check it out and make sure to follow me on instagram as well because i post different content there than i do on this youtube channel but just like that this video is over and i will see you guys all with our next airbnb tour <laughs>